Hey guys, it's Brandon here again at Vape Extreme. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, um, but I've run into the issue of working nights again. So it's been a little bit hard to get the videos done. Um, I do have a bunch of stuff backlogged. Plus, I got a little discouraged uh, for a little while. Um, I ran into some problems. Uh, I, I did a couple videos on the Smoke Tech RRST, and I also did a video on the AGI um, Rebuildable from UD, I believe it's what the company's called. Um, but I had an issue with apparently somebody was complaining or YouTube caught it or whatever the deal was. When I shoot the videos, I'm generally in my garage um, for the time being um, and I have the radio playing in the background um, and I'm, I guess due to some copyright infringements or whatever the deal was, um, the videos got blocked. So. Um, I know I don't edit my videos, um, I don't add in little snapshots or music or anything along that line. The only music I have playing is what's playing in the radio in the background. And basically that was about an hour to an hour and a half out of my life that I will never get back um, because I, can, uh, I can't upload the videos, um, or I had them uploaded and YouTube shut them down. So. That's a bit of an issue as well. A um, couple other problems that I had too is I did a review on the K100, um, which most people know that it's a clone because it's called the KTS100. Um, that's a clone name. Um, but anyway, I got some negative feedback on it. It's not a big deal, guys. I appreciate the criticism either way. I apologize. I didn't mention that it was a clone in the actual video. Um, that was my mistake. Um, and I'm sh I didn't actually put the fact that it was a clone in the title of the video. Um, but on the Canvape site, it was labeled as the KTS100. Um, and that's basically how I labeled it, so that when you went to go to Can Vapes, if you were interested in ordering it, that's what you would look for. Um, I wasn't trying to mislead anybody, I do apologize if I did in any way, shape, or form, um, but anyway, I've corrected it in the comments, uh, and guys, I do appreciate the feedback, and I apologize for the uh, guys that pointed out that it was a clone. Um, I did forget to, ma forget to mention that. Uh, now, it's going to be um, kind of a quick review, um, and I'm getting up there in my video counts. Uh, I, I'm not compared to a lot of the other um, reviewers out there, but I'm getting up to a, a milestone uh, that I wanted to hit. Um, so I've got a few more videos to shoot to get to that point, um, and then. I've got some things uh, that I want to give away that I've done reviews on um, simply due to the fact that I don't use them myself um, more because of the fact that I'm using um, a good, like, more mods and rebuildables than I do um, some of the other things that I got in. So I, I will be doing some giveaways. I can't really say. The only thing I can say, guys, uh, if you're watching, um, please subscribe. I would like to get my subscriber count up a little bit higher. Um, the giveaway is not going to be based on that. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, um, but it's basically going to be a milestone once I hit a certain amount of videos. Um, I'm shooting for about 100, uh, which won't be that far off. Um, but uh, if I can get some more subscribers, um, maybe some more feedback, um, that'd be great. Uh, I had a gentleman, uh, or sorry, not a gentleman, um, I had a YouTube subscriber um, actually uh, comment on my channel trailer, I guess is what it is. Um, and it was it was nice to hear um, positive feedback. Um, 
from another can or sorry from another Canadian um, vapor uh, that you know he's been watching me for over a year and uh, has uh, has enjoyed my videos uh, to say the least. Um, so basically, I think what's going to happen is ah, I'll tell you later. Anyway, I really hate doing negative reviews. <laughs> I really do, um, mainly due to the fact that I I, I don't like having um, crappy products. Uh, it, it just it kind of bugs me a little bit. Um, this is probably one of uh, maybe two videos that I've done that I've had a negative review on. And unfortunately, I think it's for me. It's more negative just due to the fact that I don't like the way that it operates. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you the mod. Um, it's a mechanical mod. Uh, this one here came from Canvapes.com. I've already opened it, obviously, um, hence the reason why I'm doing the review. Uh, but this is the Vision Blade 18650 mod. Um, there are some positives, um, but there's a really big negative for me personally, um, but we'll get to the unboxing. Basically, all you're getting is the mod. Um, it does come in a very nice velvety bag. Um, sorry about the autofocus, guys. Um, and it actually comes, the mod actually comes wrapped in a plastic bag, but I didn't feel like putting it back in there because kind of a pointless thing. Um, but it comes in a very nice velvety bag, which I'll probably never use again. But this is it. Um, it is an 18650 um, mechanical mod. Um, basically the idea is it's got the fire switch on the side. Um, the build quality is Decent. Mm, decent. Um, the threading is very smooth. It's a, a little squeaky, um, and there is a little play in the uh, in the threads, but it is very smooth. It's not crunchy or anything like that. Um, the top cap. It's a different design. Um, it's more designed for your egos, uh, your ego, ego style devices. Sorry, guys. Um, so it does have the uh, the ego cone skirt threading, um, plus a 510. Uh, the center pin uh, from the time short time that I've had this, uh, the center pin is not adjustable whatsoever, uh, which really sucks because I haven't been able to find a single thing that'll flush mount. Um, to this, and even if you were to flush mount it, it's still any cargo tanks or anything that look kind of silly on to me. Um, now, there are, uh, of course, your air channel slots cut in the top of the 510 connection. Um, now, the battery tube does come out, right? So it's, uh, I don't know, it's different in that aspect. There's no spring in the bottom uh, for your battery connection. Um, it's basically just touches the bottom and that's pretty much it. This was the only part that I was kind of curious about because my mod that I've received, I can remove the very aluminum, or sorry, uh, the very thin aluminum uh, outer decorating ring, I don't know. Um, it has um, markings on it that says on with an arrow and a plus, um, and then there's, I don't know, some goofy symbol on the bottom, the CE uh, logo and then the negative, so at least that way you know what way to put your battery in, and then there's your tube. Um, there's four holes drilled in the back. 
again, I don't know. Uh, this is a very inexpensive mod. I think it was around $39. Um, but I'll show you where the negative comes in. Um, I'm assuming this is a very poor version of a clone um, because I do remember or recall watching a video by Grim Green um, with a mod similar to this, um, but it was built a lot better. Uh, than this. So basically I'm going to grab 18650 and then I'll show you where the negative comes in. Um, so basically uh, the 18650 uh, goes in positive side facing up. The battery tube then slides inside like so. Again, sorry for the autofocus guys, I will figure that out eventually. And then you thread your top cap on, like so. Now, very rattly. This is the Igo L uh, rebuildable. Uh, I think it's sitting around one ohm. So here's where the negative comes in. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's where the negative comes in. Not only do you have battery rattle, okay, and that's me holding on to this the center slatty tube, your firing um, tube that when you push it up it fires, but when I shake it without holding the tube, this whole tube moves up and down. There's this whole tube moves up and down. There's nothing stopping it. I don't, I don't get it. Um, I figured there should be some kind of spring in there to it down and hold it in place. I don't know. And then with the battery rattle, I don't know. It uh, let's dress it up a little more. Um, here's a basically a tank skirt, uh, and then we'll throw the Igo L on it. I don't know. I, I'm not really a big fan of this device whatsoever, but it vapes okay. Vaping it on it um, is going to be more dependent on your build. Um, if you like rattly mods, <laughs> this is perfect. I do not like rattly mods whatsoever. I don't like the fact that there's that just bugs me. Um, It'd be nice if there was a spring. I tried putting a few cotton balls in the bottom, but you got to be careful how many you put in because then you're holding the firing pin on all the time. Um, I was thinking that this was built a little bit differently. Um, for me, uh, it, it's not the most favorite mod that I've I've uh, I've received from Canvapes. It looks slick. Um, not a big fan of the top cap. It'd be nice if it was um, flush with a, um, you know, recessed 510 connection with the Eagle skirt threading. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the Eagle top caps to begin with. Um, so this is, I don't know, personally, uh, again guys, this is in my opinion, um, not a big fan. Um, so, yeah, there's many other mods. Um, just as a prime example, you know, if you're looking for a decent mechanical, um, you know, 
the smoke tech telescope mod bottom firing button that is drier than a popcorn fart Ooh. and it's raining wonderful smoke tech nice easy nice easy push battery dying <laughs> no I spun the coil around wow Or I just killed the atomizer. One sec. Seeing as we had a little conversation about the K100. Another very nice mod. Why is that so... Oh, it's working fantastic tonight. Let's throw some more juice on it. When in doubt, put some more juice on it. So yeah, guys, there are much better um, knockoff mods out there um, that you can purchase. I, and again, personal opinion, am not a big fan of the Vision Blade um, due to the fact that, A, I don't, I'm not sure if this is even supposed to come off. Uh, I, I don't know. It looked like at one point it was glued in because there's some epoxy on the back of it. Um, so that's kind of a negative for me. Um, not a big fan of the rattling. That's, that's just odd. Um, the movement on it is very smooth. Don't get me wrong; it, it's it's a very smooth throw. I just wish that this was more stable. You know what I mean? I, I don't. Personal preference. Personal preference always. Hmm. Anyway, guys, um, that's the Vision Blade. Hmm. For me, thumbs down. Not a big fan. Um, so yeah, guys, stay tuned. Uh, I am. Uh, I've got a couple more things coming, um, and I am going to reshoot the video for the AGI uh, and the RRST. Um, I may not do a full complete build on them because it was a long video, um, but I will be doing a review on them um, shortly. Uh, I have two or three more mechs on the way. Um, I have a, another uh, variable voltage, variable wattage mod um, that I haven't seen much reviews on as of yet. Um, again, it's another knockoff. Um, and I have another company sending me some rather basic stuff. Um, but when I get to do the review, um, hoping that it gets here, um, you'll be really interested to see how it all became to what they're building and designing as of uh, uh, as of uh, today so um, guys that's all I got for you today so as always let's keep on vaping <laughs>